Hello friend, so today we are going to discuss the selfie of TN1X node. So TN1X node basically is a series of the Nortel vendor and uh, this is basically a stage multiplexer which has 2STM1 electrical transport aggregator which can accumulate uh, 150 Mbps from the tributary unit and pass it to the ring. So there are total 14 slots in the TN4X in node. You are seeing slot 6 and slot 7 are fixed for the aggregator card. Slot 5 and slot 8 is fixed for payload manager. Slot 1, 2, slot 3, 4, 9, 10, 11 are fixed for tributary cards. And there are many tributary cards available in for the Nortel like 2 make tributary card, STM1 optical tributary card, STM1 electrical tributary card, 34 MBPA tributary card, 16 cross 2 means it can give 16 to mbps and you can accumulate 16 into 2 tributary card to the uh, traffic and uh, pass it to the higher level order so uh, another tributary card is 35 and 45 make tributary card slot 12 and 13 are fixed for the power supply unit slot 14 are fixed for the sub rack controller so let's go and see the some basic features of the slots so these are the self view of the tn1x in node on the left hand side it is a self detail showing like this is the ADM, this is the type 1x, this back code, this back plane etc. And below the self details the selected card details. So whenever we, we select any card it shows the selected card details like slot, the name of the card, the back code, serial number, description and manufacturer date. So right now we are selecting the 2M card which are in slot. 20 so these are the basic features uh, which are showing for the 2 tributary card like this unit provides 16 uh, 204 kb per interfaces and the signals are mapped into the synchronous payload and passed to the payload manager there are two variants are available these are the power supply so next go to the next slot next slot is 50 which is for payload manager and all the details are showing here which I have already mentioned the power supplies for this card is mentioned here and the payload manager is basically provides a drop and insert facility and a reordering facility at tributary unit level of the synchronous digital hierarchy between the aggregator and the tributary interfaces there are two variants available for the payload manager you can see here on right side so slot 6 and slot 7 is the aggregator card which collect the traffic from the tributary cards and pass it to the ring so we are selecting here the stm1 aggregator card here is the basic details this is the power supply unit and basically this unit performs the synchronous transfer module section overhead processing and coded mark inversion coding decoding these are the electrical interfaces like line date line code access impedance input power cable loss and all these things these are the Mm, features which will uh, we will discuss in the our card sections these are the same slot 7 which is the aggregator card this is the payload manager and which are similar to the payload manager which I have discussed in the slot 5 for the slot 5 so we are moving to the next so slot 12 0 and slot 30 0 is fixed for the power supply unit these are the related regulated power and these are the power requirements for the power supply unit and one more features like load sharing to so when you use a load sharing pair each power unit supplies a maximum 16 percent of the load this is a slot 13 which is again the power supply unit now we are moving to the sub rack controller this is a slot 14 the sub rack controller all these features are available here selected card details self details and the power supply for the src card sub rack controller will basically perform the general control and monitoring function and provide the following interfaces these are the interfaces like mmsb ethernet attachment unit rs232 standard alarm interface sub rack alarm interface to the local craft access these are the interfaces which are available on this card there are two variants available here which is mentioned here so this is all about the TN1X 